Oh, you just did it. We're about to go ahead and unbox this bad boy. DJI Osmo Mobile 2. This is G, you're watching Keeping This Tech. Let's go. As always, thank you for checking out the video and I uh, hope you guys are having an amazing day. We're gonna look at the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. This is DJI's second crack at the smartphone gimbal. And you know what? They've been the king of the hill as it relates to this product category for a while. They had a couple of people nipping at their heels and I feel like the Osmo Mobile 2 is a direct response to the Zyene Smooth Q, but I'll get into that a little later. Um, I had the original one. I thought it was cool. It was a bit buggy and it was a little bit too overpriced for what it could do. So this is really cool. I remember thinking to myself, hey, if they had priced it at 150, I would keep it, but they didn't. And so now this is 129. So it's a great value, especially if it's been refined as they are saying it has been. So there's nothing else in this box here. We're gonna put it away. This is just a close look at some of the paperwork that you're gonna get, some quick start guides and what have you. But let's take a look at this case. Now you get a hard case with your DJI Osmo Mobile. You'll notice the branding on there. Albeit this case is made out of styrofoam, it's nice that they included it this time around. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open, and there it is, guys. Here is the brand new DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Let's get rid of this thing over here. And there's a call out to the brand right here in Boston. Let me get this close so you can see it. There you go, Osmo Mobile right here. And this is it, man. It's pretty nice. It's uh, plastic, but this is supposed to be very durable plastic, right? Right? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the controls. Now, to the right... You're gonna see some, sorry guys, let me get this in focus, some DJI branding. There's a micro USB port for charging. The battery life lasts up to 15 hours here. There's your shutter record button and your joystick for panning and tilting. And then these LEDs indicate obviously power and how much battery you have left. Speaking of power, holding this M button, which is also known as the mode button, will turn it on, as well as toggle between the different modes that are in the software. You have your zoom buttons. There's Osmo branding right there. There's a USB port for charging your smartphone while you're on the go, and a tripod thread for uh, mounting. And to make things even better, or maybe worse, I'm not sure, depending on how you feel, there's only a one uh, step balancing on here, and that's with this little knob. They're using a clasp for attaching the phone this time around instead of the dial that was used previously. The only other thing that you have here is a USB cable with the DJI branding. So my phone is very thin. I have this Apple case on there. I mean, it's one of the thinnest cases that you can get, and it still kind of protrudes a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the case to kind of show you what it looks like with uh, the iPhone 8 Plus. Okay, so here's the phone. As you can see here, it's uh, now on the Osmo Mobile. Bam, just like that. And this is very, very, very slick, very responsive, very smooth. It feels really good. Now, one of my knocks on this thing is just the setup process. You have to create a DJI Osmo Mobile account, which I already did, but then you have to register the product. So it doesn't work right away. You do have to do some admin stuff, if you will, to get it going. But once it does, man, this is very, very nice. As you can see here, this is the way it works. It's very, again, responsive. One of the marquee features about the new Osmo is the uh, portrait mode. And so that's vertical video. And that's great for Instagram stories, Facebook Live, and you know Snapchat, all those other social platforms that take advantage of that. And so you just simply take out the phone, you adjust the clasp there that you see, and you're all set. Once your phone is balanced, you turn it on, and then there you go. So it's really, really fluid in this orientation as well. Now what's a bit of a bummer, I'm hearing that phones that feature optical image stabilization like my iPhone here will still compete with the gimbal. Um, and so it's causing some of that jittery footage. Now there is a way to kind of combat that, you know, you gotta change the technique a bit, but um, that kind of sucks. Don't, don't worry though, I'm gonna go ahead and test this out in full. Uh, but in the meantime, something that really shouldn't give me a problem is this Hero 4. Uh, I have it uh, connected to this adapter here, which I picked up from Amazon. It's uh, compatible with the Zhiyun and Osmo Mobile. Since the GoPro Hero 4 has no image stabilization, it's going to just rely on uh, the Osmo, and I'm expecting great things from this. So it's going to be pretty dope. This video is just about the hardware, just a quick look. I'm gonna do a second video, taking a look at the DJI app. We're gonna talk about all of that stuff. So stay tuned, stay locked in, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment. This is your boy G, you've been watching Keeping This Tech. Peace.